I think it's very important that younger generations and the generation of today uh, take on uh, initiatives that are calling into question certain narrative and uh, an environment that they are linked and engaged to their ecosystem. And, they, and because basically the world that we live is theirs, the future is theirs, the contemporary experience is theirs, no? as much as it's ours. And I think there has to be always a generational appropriation, I would say, of institutions, but also if that, if that change or that um, ownership cannot be achieved, they should be a counterculture that somehow um, call into question what largest institutions or or the officialdom uh, are doing to support uh, the the youth um, and sort of younger generations that want to do, that want to see some some social transformation, social justice. You know, there are. Um, I have always said that arts and cultures are like a sort of, a, a sort of soft power. Um, that in a way, following what Michel Rotroyo says in his um, book, Silencing History, Power in the Construction of History, is that there are m many others, um, uh, he called them artisans, right? That can contribute to distort the making of what history is. And I can, um, I, always, I, I, I always talk about historicity in those terms, but also using Umberto's Echo's notion of the open work, because then we, we can have the chance to imagine history as such open work and, and develop platform that allowed us to appropriate such history, to take ownership to them, not only to belong to history, but also to be agents and narrators of that. No? So Troyot talks about these artisans that are not necessarily the professional historians uh, that can contribute to augment, to um, diverse, or to reorganize the making of history, the production of history, and the field of history itself. So cultural and artistic project provide us with such tools and devices that will help us to engage with that production differently. And if we, instead of talking about history, think about institutions, the very same way, the very same format that we use for engaging with something that can destabilize the power, even if not disrupting it completely, it would be, it would be good. I had the impression that uh, cultural and artistic initiative can play a role in keeping us uh, in our toes always to try to be completely involved, always, um, let's say, scrutinizing power or institution of powers to, to really allow for um, those changes that society needs, for the voices of you know, younger generations to be heard, um, I think every experience for every individual is unique, no? and, and, and for the communities. No? Yesterday to the group, I was talking about the possibility of engaging with us, agent of something larger than, than ourselves, no? like the questioning that we are, for instance, agents, narrators, and protagonists of our own story, that we are capable to imagine a world in which we are active uh, initiator and we come together through this sense of togetherness that engages in an intentional consciousness. So what I will say is pursue your dreams without uh, any remorse. No? Uh, I mean, hopefully nobody else is affected by those uh, in a negative way, but, but to try to as much as possible to, sometimes there will be times where you had to do what you told, but you can always look for those little scratches in, in the pavement, so then you can insert then a seed for something else. No? And, and I think that's, that will be, if any, <laughs> my advice, no? to pursue with bravery who you are, to think that there is something right about what you're doing, even if you don't have the total, uh, let's say, response or answer to a particular issue not to give up and, and, and try to do it together. I, I love collective. I think collective formation are fundamental. Sometimes we pursue so much our obsessed with our own stories, self-centered. We forget that there are others that maybe have gone through the same thing, listen to other younger than you, older than you, right? Like I think transgenerational knowledge and transferring that knowledge is super important. 
And anyhow, I think that's it for somebody that didn't have anything to <laughs> suggest to younger generations. But yeah, pursuing the dreams, I think, is the most important. And thinking that uh, your difference makes you unique, and perhaps that is what the words need to listen. So, I mean, there is something brave about being an artist. Um, sometimes I feel like in order to be an artist, you have to be a little bit egotistic in the sense that you have to feel that whatever you want to say had to be said in a way that others in the world doesn't feel that way. You know? That, that the, 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 your vision of the world had to be heard. I feel like pursue that. Pursue that for a minute, right? Uh, talk to others uh, about that. Right? Don't hide it. Just engage with it. And listen, listen a lot. No? That's why I was saying dialogues has been fundamental during this pandemic, I think.